In Nepal, three women die in childbirth every day. In remote areas, there's an acute lack of health care. For some women and their babies, a rescue helicopter is their only lifeline. But these are dangerous missions. 101 East meets the Nepali women risking their lives to become mothers and those trying to save them. Gloria Buddha is expecting her fifth child in a few days. She lives in the mountain village of Kimni in western Nepal. It's been a difficult pregnancy, much like her last one. Gunthamardhe, <laughs> In this remote region, some women miscarry trying to reach the closest clinic. Others choose to give birth at home, far from skilled medical care. Goria's due date is fast approaching. But she and her husband have not yet decided where she will deliver. For years, Nepal has been trying to improve access to maternal care by building roads and clinics and training health workers. But the number of women who die in childbirth in one of Asia's poorest countries has increased during the pandemic as more pregnant women stay at home. Goria's neighbor Manoj lost his wife Jola six months ago. <laughs> She died at home, a couple of days after giving birth to their second daughter, Minuki, at a health center. She was 21. Manoj still doesn't know why Jola died. 
only that she didn't get the medical care she desperately needed. I Since his wife's death, Manoj has become the sole caregiver for his two daughters, in addition to being the family's breadwinner. You Meru Sirmati. Kapal bani Ramro thiyo, aankhad bani Ramro thiyo. Theri bani mola af, afle dherei mon poraya thiyo. Afle to mola hiruni jaste nee maniya thiyo. Mola dherei Ramro laaya thiyo. Without her mother to nurse her, Manuki risks being undernourished. There is a feeling that she has been in the house. 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 She has been in अस्पताल नो लगे को मानसे मानसे बनी बैठा है ना पैसे बनी आर्थिक थी है ना और इस चीज को कमी कमजोरी लेकर दाने ही वहाँ को हॉस्पिटल आप उसे अपना पाई ना बनने बनी छा अन्य और उसी चीज़ पनी आवाज़ यह देवी देवता वंशन तीन के और उसका काम करता है बनी आपने कमी कमजोर ले करता है बाय बाय को सोच रहा था इन अ बिड टू हेल्प अदर वेमेन अवॉइड जॉलर्स फेट द गवर्नमेंट हैज अ न्यू इनिशिएटिव देव स्टार्टेड एन इमरजेंसी हेलीकॉप्टर स This has proven to be a lifeline for many Nepali mothers. Lieutenant Colonel Rishav Adhikari is on his way back from a training session in a valley near the capital Kathmandu. His team operates around three rescue missions a week. He's been flying for 16 years, but given the rugged terrain and often difficult weather conditions, he needs to train constantly. Challenge बनने लगे अब जो तो कुछ तो नहीं अब अगेंस्ट तो नेचर दुन काम करे बनी तो तो ऑफ़ टेरी बॉयल्स हैं तो मैं तो वो इधर को कुछ फैक्टर राउंड्स हैं भाई ना तो यहाँ अब अब लैंडिंग जोन को नहीं मिल बने कोई नहीं ठहरा लैंडिंग को ठाउं नहीं होता ना तो ऐसे डिजास्टर हो set up four years ago, has taken more than 300 women to hospitals for urgent treatment. Okay. Life <laughs> प्रबंधन राज्य संघ बागो अवाई जनसक्ति रा अवाई को सुविधा बागो ठाउं से यही बागो नले सायद प्रायोरिटी में तू इस आवलिन पोरे गोला ये लोग से योर आमतर लाइफ नहीं होगा ना ऐसे बच्चा आगो लाइफ कर दहर तो आगो यो मल्टीपल लाइफ सेविंग गोस में जान सर इट्स 10 एम एट द हेलीकॉप्टर बेस इन कटमंडू � on the phone is a man whose wife, Muna, needs to get to a hospital urgently. 
Her baby died during childbirth. 21-year-old Muna is now bleeding heavily, and there's a desperate race to save her life. The team quickly checks the map and the local weather conditions. There's no time to lose. Adhikari knows how unpredictable these rescue missions can be. When her contractions began, Muna and her husband walked 30 minutes from their home to a health center. But the staff there were ill-equipped to care for her. They referred her to a hospital, a three-hour drive away. But she didn't make it. She was forced to give birth at another health center on the way. Muna is in a critical condition. After her baby was stillborn, she was unable to expel the placenta from her womb and is now hemorrhaging. Less than 30 minutes later, the helicopter touches down in Kathmandu. An ambulance is waiting to take Muna to a hospital. Medical staff rush Muna to the intensive care unit. There's nothing her husband can do now but wait. Back in Kimni village, Goria's delivery date has come and gone. She's getting anxious. Although the village has its own very basic health post, the closest center where she can get an ultrasound is a four hour walk away. She's heading there for a checkup with her friend Sangeeta, who's also pregnant. It's an arduous hike up and down the steep Himalayan mountains.
In recent years, Nepal has built more health centers like this one in the most remote corners of the country. But they often operate with limited resources. Luckily for Goria, after an hour, the electricity comes back on. This is her second checkup since she became pregnant. For now, everything looks fine. After her long trek to the health center and back, Gloria begins having contractions. Despite the severe pain, she's cooked, fed her four children, and cleaned the house with her neighbor. <laughs> It's 2 a.m. The pain is getting worse, and Goria has decided to go to the health post 500 meters away. It's basic and ill-equipped, but it has a nurse who can help her. After a 20 minute ascent up a steep mountainside path in the dark, they arrive. Just moments later, Goria can feel the baby coming. <laughs> To help discourage home births, the government gives $30 in clothes to women who give birth at health centers.
Shortly after delivering her baby, Goria makes her way back home in the cold, dark night. Why are you looking back? Sorry. The next morning, she's exhausted. But she's relieved to be home with her little boy, who she's named Naresh. Hey, it should be a day of joy, but Goria is filled with trepidation for the future. Poetry at a maternity hospital back in Kathmandu, Muna is slowly recovering after losing a lot of blood. After a night in the ward and a final checkup, Muna is ready to go back home. Having lost her baby, the helicopter rescue ensured that her life wasn't lost as well.